if you suffer a breakdown caused by a flat battery. A jump starter power pack can get you or another broken down vehicle back on the road without the need for a donor vehicle. It's essential you follow the vehicle manufacturer's instructions to suit the specific jump starting procedure for your vehicle. Some types of vehicle require a specific method of attaching the leads or may not be suitable for starting using this method at all. Next, you need to ensure that the battery is not damaged or leaking acid in any way, as charging a damaged battery can be extremely dangerous. You should never attempt to jumpstart a discharged battery if the temperature outside is below zero degrees, as the battery is prone to freezing. Jumpstarting in these situations could lead to serious injury or damage. You also need to remove any loose clothing such as ties and scarves in case they get caught in any of the engine components. You should also remove any metal items such as necklaces, watches and rings to ensure that you don't cause any sparks if they touch any of the battery components. Check that the battery pack is sufficiently charged and that it's suitable for the voltage of your battery. Today we're using the Sealy Jump Starter Power Pack, suitable for charging 12 volt vehicles fitted with up to 10 cylinder engines. Make sure that all the electrical equipment is removed and switched off, including the ignition. Then select neutral gear and ensure the handbrake is applied. The positive terminal can be identified by a plus symbol and the negative by a minus symbol. These can be found next to the battery connection terminals. Connect the red jump cable from the pack to the positive terminal of the flat battery. Now connect the black jump cable from the pack to a suitable earthing point on the engine or the chassis of the vehicle. Once connected, turn the pack on. Now place the power pack on a stable surface so that it doesn't fall off when the engine is started. You're now ready to start the engine of the vehicle. Once started, turn the power pack off. Keep the engine running for a further five to 10 minutes to allow time for the battery to sufficiently charge. To disconnect the power pack, turn off the engine and remove the leads in the reverse order they were placed. Start by removing the black cable from the earthing point, then remove the red cable from the positive terminal of the battery. Now you can attempt to start the car again. A persistent flat battery can be a sign that the battery needs to be replaced, or there's a fault with another component on the vehicle. In situations such as these, consult a qualified mechanic. For our other videos and how-to instructional guides, please visit our website at www.sealy.co.uk.